This is Andre from SWL and in this video I'm going to show you the flaw on the XHDATA D109 that caused this radio to be withdrawn from sales and sent back to the factory. It's got to do with the input, the manual input by using the keypad in the 16 meter band. So between 17,000 and 20,000 kilohertz. The input here doesn't quite work. Let's say you want to go to 17560, which is Saudi Radio International. At this time, I put 1756 and it stops at 1756. You cannot add the zero. Or I want to go to Radio Algeria, which is 17600, 17600. Zero, it immediately stops at 1760. So that is the flaw. But it still works when you use the 16 meter band. It still picks up all the stations that are broadcasting on this band. So, for example, if you use the scanning function, there's the scan, it will pick up stations. But oddly, and I don't know if that's a flaw or if that is how this radio is meant to work, when you use the scanning function, it scans backwards. So if I want to scan the 16 meter band, I need to select the 15 meter band first so that it can scan backwards from there in terms of the frequency. So let's grab the 15 meter band. There we go. And I will use the scanning function. I'll just press and hold this scan button. It's scanning through and you will see it will stop and find stations. BBC, as you've heard. And, uh, on the night between uh, Tuesday. That was also the BBC. <laughs> this one is the Voice of America from Greenville in Florida. So a very long distance reception. Radio France International, Isudun. That was Radio Algeria, Bechar. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, those are those are most of the stations broadcasting at this time in the 16 meter band. The only one that it missed, or one of the big ones that it missed, was Saudi Radio International which is 17560 and also WRMI is now broadcasting in this band on 17790 so that wasn't picked up now additionally if you manually tune using the tuning button here as you can see it also finds the stations so let's go back to Radio Algeria now let me just select the 16 meter band again there we go and I'll start from the bottom. So you just manually tune. 17560 is Saudi. Not coming through. 17600 is Radio Algeria. Strong signal coming from Bechar in Algeria. 17620 is Radio France International, Isudun. Strong signal again. Nice. Very good reception on this radio. 17655 is VOA from Greenville in Florida. So let's see. There we go, VOA broadcasting in Portuguese from Greenville in Florida. BBC Wolferton is 7780. 
um, a melee field of two defense. So the the the, the, the Coming through W RMI one seven seven nine zero. Yeah, that one doesn't come through. BBC from Ascension Island one seven eight three zero. So uh, keep back to to keep back the place to to to. to to make them flee. Coming through and the VOA from Botswana is 17890. Let's see. Yeah, it's there, but it's weak. <laughs> and oddly, Botswana is just next to me. It's, this transmitter is only about 250 miles away. And that's weak. But Greenville, Florida <laughs> comes through nice and clear. Let's go back to that one just to end. 17655. The tuning is very nice. As you see, if I tune slowly, it goes in one kilohertz steps. And then if you turn the dial faster, it, it tunes very fast. 17655, VOA, Greenville, Florida. <laughs> There we go. So the reception works. It's just the input when you are using the keypad and it's only between 17,000 and 20,000 kilohertz. If you go, I'll just demonstrate that. If you do 16995, it works. If I will do 20,000, it will work. But if I do 19,995, it doesn't work. You see, it just stops at the fourth digit. So it's a flaw. I don't know if it is such a big flaw. It still works. You can manually tune or you can scan. So for XH, XH data to actually pull back the radio and send it back to the factory and offer to replace these faulty ones, well, that's really, really good work from that company. I think uh, some people would even be able to or willing to live with that flaw. I'm one of them. It doesn't bother me that much. The 16 meter band also is not that active, actually. So it really says a lot about the company. They they care about their customers and they, they care about the service they provide. So kudos to them for fixing this problem and then probably releasing the radio a little bit later and sending those of us who got this already replacements. Oh, my God.